We were sitting there watching TV and all of a sudden we heard gunfire. That gunfire critically wounded a state trooper who was serving a warrant at a Jefferson County home. Good evening and thanks for joining us. The situation remains fluid right now, hours after it started to unravel in the Brockway area. Investigators tell us one trooper was shot outside a house along Cemetery Hill Road. A suspect barricaded inside ever since. Melanie Gillespie has been in Brockway all night and she is live now with more on this developing story. Mel. Marty, this is still an ongoing and very active scene. A heavy police presence has that house surrounded. Now, as of right now, we still do not know the name of the suspect or that of the trooper who was shot, but we're told he's in extremely critical condition. We still have not been able to see the police activity or the house police say is surrounded on Cemetery Hill Road in Brockway. But say police say at least one suspect is still barricaded inside. This is an ongoing incident. It has not been resolved. Uh, we do have the scene contained. There is no danger to anyone else in the neighborhood at this point, but uh, it may be some time until the situation is resolved, and I expect that uh, it will be an active scene probably through the night and into tomorrow. We lived there seven years, and they are nice people. A woman we spoke to lives across the street and said she heard it all unfold. We were sitting there watching TV, and all of a sudden we heard gunfire, and I looked out the window because it's behind us, and I seen cops all over the place and laying on the ground and they were just everywhere. The trooper shot along with other law enforcement agencies were serving a search warrant at the house that's surrounded. Investigators would not release the trooper's name who was shot, but said he's from the Dubois barracks and was hit with two rounds, at least one in the neck. During the course of that search warrant, uh, there were shots fired from the residence. One of the troopers was struck uh, with at least two rounds. Uh, in that exchange of gunfire. There were a number of shots exchanged uh, in an effort to extricate that trooper from the scene. He was flown to UPMC Altoona where police say he's undergoing treatment. There's still no word on the suspect's condition, but police say surrounding agencies and the state police cert team is working to bring the situation to a peaceful end. Uh, they are uh, in the process of uh, preparing to clear that residence and uh, it, it's a slow, methodical process. We don't want to get anybody else hurt at this point unnecessarily. A methodical procedure that entails risks that police say are a part of the job. You know, certainly it's a shock to the uh, troopers that, uh, and the police officers that work with that trooper day in and day out. We'll work with all of them to get through this. It's unfortunately a part of the job. Now, investigators have not told us why they were serving that search warrant. They said it was not sealed, but they don't expect details to be released until sometime tomorrow. We'll continue to keep you updated as this situation unfolds. For now, reporting live in Jefferson County, Melanie Gillespie, 6 News.